Well, Rob and Judy, Trump is expected to be right inside this federal courthouse here behind us, as you said, tomorrow afternoon when he will be formally charged. And guys, these are very serious charges that could carry decades in prison if he's convicted. Former President Trump officially touching down in Miami as he prepares to be arrested Tuesday before facing a judge on serious federal criminal charges. Local police joining forces with the Secret Service and U.S. Marshals, tightening security around the courthouse downtown for his arraignment. If convicted, Trump could potentially face decades in prison for allegedly mishandling national defense documents. These are our most sensitive secrets. And when our most sensitive secrets fall into the wrong hands, and we don't know that they have, but there was potential, the consequences are very grave. People end up dying. The charges include conspiracy, obstruction of justice, and the willful retention of national defense secrets. This all began back in 2021, Trump haggling with the National Archives for months when it became increasingly clear he had taken a significant number of highly classified government records upon leaving the White House. In 2022, he did return 15 boxes. That's when prosecutors say archive officials found a significant number of sensitive documents involving spies, America's nuclear defense and weapons capabilities and U.S. surveillance programs. Shortly after the FBI and Justice Department getting involved, a grand jury subpoena ordering Trump to return dozens of additional boxes of classified documents that were stored at his Mar-a-Lago residence. In the indictment, prosecutors allege Trump knowingly misled his attorneys and the FBI in an effort to hold on to the documents despite that subpoena. Notes from one of Trump's attorneys obtained by prosecutors reveal Trump allegedly said, what what happens if we just don't respond at all or don't play ball with them? Now, Trump has remained defiant throughout all of this on the campaign trail this weekend, denying any wrongdoing and saying that he will not drop out of the presidential race, even if he's found guilty. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.